Have you ever paused to wonder why some people radiate a youthful glow, defying the years that pass? Could there be a deeper, spiritual reason behind this phenomenon? One that connects you to something eternal? Today, we embark on a transformative journey, unraveling the mysteries of why you might appear younger than your age. This isn't just about physical beauty. It's about uncovering hidden truths, exploring timeless wisdom, and revealing the profound spiritual energy within you. Stay with us, because what we'll uncover might just change the way you see yourself and the world forever. Have you ever met someone whose appearance seemed to defy time? Perhaps their skin glowed, their energy felt vibrant, or their smile seemed untouched by years of challenges. It's not uncommon to admire such individuals and wonder, what is their secret? While modern society often attributes this to genetics or skin care, ancient teachings, particularly in Buddhism, suggest a deeper reason, the radiance of inner harmony. The concept of spiritual vitality has been a cornerstone of wisdom traditions for centuries. In Buddhism, it's believed that a person's connection to their inner essence and the universe can manifest physically. When you live in harmony with your thoughts, emotions, and actions, this balance naturally reflects outwardly, creating an aura of vitality. This isn't just a metaphorical idea. Have you noticed how stress and negativity can weigh you down, leaving you looking tired and older? Conversely, moments of joy, peace, and fulfillment seem to add a glow to your face. Could it be that the key to timeless youth lies not in external treatments, but in cultivating an internal state of serenity? Take a moment to reflect. How often do you prioritize inner peace in your daily life? In the hustle and bustle of modern living, it's easy to overlook the impact of mindfulness and compassion. Yet, these practices are transformative. Mindfulness allows us to be fully present, to appreciate the small miracles of life, and to let go of unnecessary worries. Compassion, on the other hand, opens our hearts to others, freeing us from the corrosive effects of anger and resentment. Consider the story of Amara, a woman who discovered the power of these principles in her own life. For years, she carried the burden of grief and unresolved emotions. It showed in her demeanor. Her shoulders slumped, her energy seemed drained, and her smile rarely reached her eyes. Then, after attending a mindfulness retreat, she began a journey of self-healing. She practiced meditation daily, focusing on releasing her pain and embracing gratitude. She also made a conscious effort to act with compassion, even in challenging situations. Within months, her friends noticed something different about her. Her posture improved, her face looked brighter, and her laughter became more frequent. Amara herself felt lighter, as if she had shed years of emotional weight. Can you relate to Amara's story? Have there been moments when letting go of negativity felt like a weight lifted off your shoulders? These small but profound changes can transform not only how you feel, but also how others perceive you. When your spirit is free from unnecessary burdens, it shines through in your physical appearance. Spiritual vitality is not just an abstract idea. It is a tangible energy that impacts your entire being. The Buddha taught that by cultivating the Eightfold Path, right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration, we align ourselves with the natural flow of the universe. This alignment fosters peace and balance within us, which, in turn, radiates outward. As you reflect on your own life, ask yourself, are there practices or habits that could bring more harmony to your days? 
What steps can you take to prioritize mindfulness and compassion? The answers to these questions might hold a key to unlocking your own inner light, allowing it to shine as a beacon of youth and vitality. Have you ever met someone who seemed wise beyond their years? Perhaps they carried a certain calmness, an ability to navigate challenges without succumbing to the chaos that engulfs so many. These individuals often radiate a sense of peace that feels timeless. Could it be that their inner harmony is the secret to maintaining not only their wisdom, but also their youthful spirit? The concept of an old soul is one that transcends cultures and religions. In many spiritual traditions, it is believed that these individuals have lived through multiple lifetimes, accumulating wisdom and understanding along the way. This deep reservoir of knowledge enables them to see life's challenges from a broader perspective. They don't sweat the small stuff because they inherently know how fleeting most troubles are. Imagine how such a mindset might shield someone from the wear and tear of stress, preserving their vitality and youth. Let me share the story of Master Lin, an elderly monk who lived in a quiet monastery nestled in the mountains of China. At first glance, Master Lin appeared frail. His face bore the marks of a long life. But when you looked closer, his eyes sparkled with a youthful energy, and his posture exuded strength and serenity. Visitors often remarked on the calming presence he brought into a room. Despite his advanced age, Master Lin was known for his endurance, often trekking long distances through the rugged terrain to reach nearby villages. One day, a curious traveler asked him, Master Lin, what is your secret to such vitality? The monk smiled and replied, I carry no burdens. The storms come and go, but I am like the mountain, unmoved by passing winds. His answer reflected the core of his philosophy. By embracing life's impermanence and practicing gratitude for each moment, he freed himself from unnecessary suffering. Have you ever wondered how much of your stress comes from holding on to things you cannot control? How often do we let small inconveniences or worries steal our peace? Master Lin's approach is a reminder that inner harmony begins with perspective. When we let go of attachments to outcomes or grievances from the past, we lighten our emotional load. Practicing gratitude is another cornerstone of the old soul's wisdom. Gratitude shifts our focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in our lives. This shift not only fosters emotional well-being, but also has tangible physical benefits. Studies have shown that individuals who regularly practice gratitude experience lower levels of stress, improved sleep, and even stronger immune systems. Could this simple practice be the key to a longer, healthier, and more vibrant life? Reflect for a moment on your daily routines. Are there opportunities where you could practice more gratitude? Perhaps during a morning walk, you could take a moment to appreciate the beauty of nature. Or at the end of the day, you could write down three things that made you smile. These small actions can have profound effects over time, gradually rewiring your mind to focus on positivity and resilience. Another hallmark of old souls is their deep understanding of others. They see beyond surface-level conflicts and emotions recognizing the fears and desires that drive human behavior. This empathy reduces the friction in their relationships and allows them to navigate social challenges with grace. Have you noticed how much stress arises from misunderstandings or unspoken expectations? What if, like an old soul, you approached others with greater understanding and patience? How might that transform your relationships and, in turn, your sense of inner peace? The wisdom of old souls is not exclusive to those who have lived countless lifetimes. 
It is accessible to anyone willing to cultivate mindfulness, gratitude, and compassion. These practices allow us to tap into a deeper sense of purpose and serenity, shielding us from the ravages of stress and negativity. As you reflect on the lessons of this chapter, consider this. What steps can you take today to embrace the perspective of an old soul? Could letting go of a lingering worry or expressing gratitude for a small joy be the start of your journey toward a more youthful, harmonious existence? The answers lie within you, waiting to illuminate your path forward. Have you ever felt someone's emotions so deeply that they seem to become your own? Perhaps a friend's sorrow left you sleepless, or a stranger's joy brought a smile to your face. Empathy is a powerful gift, connecting us to others in ways that transcend words. But have you ever wondered how this emotional exchange shapes not just your relationships, but also your well-being and even your physical vitality? Empaths, those who feel the emotions of others on an extraordinary level, often describe their experiences as both a blessing and a challenge. Their heightened sensitivity allows them to form profound connections, but it can also leave them vulnerable to emotional exhaustion. How, then, do some empaths manage to thrive, maintaining a youthful spirit despite the intensity of their emotional experiences? Consider the story of Sarah, a middle school teacher known for her boundless energy and radiant smile. Despite the challenges of her job, long hours, restless students, and occasional heartbreaks, Sarah seemed to grow more vibrant with each passing year. What was her secret? Sarah shared that her empathy for her students fueled her rather than drained her. I don't just teach, she explained. I learn from them. Every time I see a student light up with understanding or succeed in something they thought was impossible, I feel renewed. Instead of absorbing her students' struggles as personal burdens, Sarah chose to view them as opportunities for connection and growth. This perspective allowed her to release emotional weight rather than carrying it, fostering a sense of inner peace. This concept of energetic flow is key. Empaths who thrive understand the importance of processing and releasing the emotions they encounter. They become like rivers, allowing feelings to flow through them rather than damming them up. Have you ever found yourself holding on to someone else's pain, unable to let it go? What if you could learn to acknowledge those emotions, honor them, and then release them? Developing emotional resilience is an essential skill for anyone, not just empaths. Emotional resilience is the ability to recover from stress and setbacks, preserving your mental and physical health. Imagine the toll on your body if you carried every emotional burden you encountered. Studies have shown that chronic emotional stress can accelerate aging, weaken the immune system, and even shorten lifespan. So how can we build resilience while maintaining the deep connections that empathy brings? One effective method is mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our emotions without judgment, allowing us to process them in a healthy way. Imagine sitting quietly for just five minutes each day, focusing on your breath and letting emotions come and go like passing clouds. Could this simple practice transform the way you experience and release emotional energy? Another vital practice is setting boundaries. Empaths often feel compelled to help everyone around them, sometimes at the expense of their own well-being. But have you ever considered that saying, no, can be an act of compassion, not just for yourself, but also for others? When you prioritize your energy, you ensure that you can give your best to the people and causes that truly matter. Let's return to Sarah's story. One of her most significant realizations was that she couldn't solve all her students' problems. 
Instead of taking on their struggles, she focused on empowering them to find their own solutions. I learned to be a guide, not a savior, she said. That shift changed everything. It lightened my heart and gave me more energy to celebrate their victories. How might this approach apply to your own life? Are there situations where you've taken on too much responsibility for someone else's happiness or success? What would it feel like to support them while trusting their ability to overcome challenges on their own? The beauty of empathy lies in its ability to connect us deeply with the world around us. But to harness its power without being overwhelmed, we must cultivate practices that promote energetic flow and emotional resilience. By doing so, we not only enhance our relationships, but also preserve the vitality and joy that make life worth living. As you reflect on this chapter, consider this. How can you honor your empathetic nature while protecting your well-being? Could mindfulness, boundary setting, or a shift in perspective help you navigate the emotional currents of life with grace? The answers may reveal a path to not just surviving, but thriving in a world full of emotion. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to glide through life's challenges, their spirits undimmed by adversity? They bend without breaking, adjusting to life's twists and turns with a calm resilience that seems almost magical. What is their secret, and how can it help us maintain our own vitality and youthfulness? Adaptability is often referred to as one of the greatest human strengths. The ability to adjust to new circumstances, accept change, and focus on solutions rather than problems doesn't just shape our mental and emotional well-being. It also influences our physical health. Think about the times when life has thrown unexpected obstacles your way. How did you respond? Did you fight against the change, or did you find a way to flow with it? One ancient story that illustrates the power of adaptability is that of a Zen master named Tetsuo. Tetsuo lived in a small mountain village where he was known for his unwavering serenity. One year, a powerful storm devastated the village, destroying homes, crops, and livelihoods. Many of the villagers despaired, overwhelmed by the scale of the disaster. But Tetsuo remained calm. He gathered the villagers, and reminded them of the impermanence of all things. Even the mightiest trees must bow to the wind, he said, or risk being uprooted. With his guidance, the villagers began rebuilding their lives, taking small steps each day. Tetsuo himself worked alongside them, planting seeds for new crops and repairing homes with a quiet determination. Over time, the village thrived once again, and the people credited their recovery to Tetsuo's wisdom and adaptability. This tale offers a profound lesson. When we resist change, we expend precious energy fighting the inevitable. But when we embrace it, we free ourselves to focus on solutions and opportunities. How often do you find yourself clinging to the way things were, rather than adapting to the way things are? Could letting go of that resistance bring you greater peace and vitality? Adaptability isn't just about navigating external changes. It's also about adjusting our internal mindset. Optimism, for instance, plays a crucial role in how we handle life's challenges. Research has shown that optimistic people tend to live longer, healthier lives. Why is that? It's because optimism helps us reframe problems as temporary setbacks rather than insurmountable barriers. Imagine facing a difficult situation, such as losing a job or experiencing a personal setback. An optimistic mindset doesn't deny the reality of the challenge, but instead asks, What can I learn from this? How can I grow? This shift in perspective not only reduces stress, 
but also fosters resilience, which is essential for both mental and physical health. In my own life, I've seen the power of adaptability firsthand. During a particularly challenging year, I found myself juggling multiple responsibilities while dealing with a significant personal loss. Initially, I felt overwhelmed, as if the weight of the world were pressing down on me. But then, I remembered a piece of advice a mentor had once shared. When you can't control the wind, adjust your sails. I began to focus on what I could control. Instead of dwelling on the difficulties, I looked for small, actionable steps to improve my situation. I also made a conscious effort to practice gratitude, focusing on the positives in my life rather than the negatives. Slowly but surely, I began to feel lighter, more energized, and more capable of facing whatever came my way. Adaptability, I realized, is a skill that can be cultivated. It begins with self-awareness, recognizing when we're resisting change and choosing instead to embrace it. It also requires a willingness to let go of perfectionism and accept that not everything will go according to plan. Have you ever found yourself stuck in a cycle of frustration because things didn't turn out as you expected? What if you could see those moments as opportunities for growth instead of setbacks? As we reflect on the harmony of adaptability, it's worth considering how this mindset can uplift not only our spirits, but also our appearance. Stress and resistance take a toll on the body, manifesting in tension, fatigue, and even premature aging. In contrast, a calm, adaptable mindset promotes relaxation and a sense of ease, both of which are essential for maintaining a youthful glow. So, as you navigate the challenges of life, ask yourself, how can I adjust my sails? What steps can I take to embrace change with grace? By cultivating adaptability and optimism, we can transform life storms into opportunities for renewal, preserving both our inner peace and outer vitality. What drives you every morning to rise from bed and step into the world? Is it the pursuit of a goal, a desire to make a difference, or the joy of connecting with others? Purpose and meaningful connections are among the most powerful forces that shape our lives. They do more than guide our actions. They infuse our spirits with energy, inspire our hearts, and even influence how others perceive us. Have you ever met someone whose passion for their work or mission seemed to radiate from them, making them appear vibrant and alive, regardless of their age? Living with purpose gives us a reason to grow, adapt, and persevere. When we align our lives with a higher mission or focus, we tap into a reservoir of energy that renews and sustains us. Consider the story of Dr. Maya, a community healer in a small rural town. For decades, she dedicated her life to bringing wellness to those who couldn't afford conventional medical care. Despite long hours and emotionally draining situations, Dr. Maya always greeted her patients with a genuine smile and calm presence. At first glance, you'd never guess that she was in her 70s. Her energy was magnetic, her laugh infectious. Patients often remarked that just being around her made them feel better. Dr. Maya once explained her secret. When you find your purpose, every day feels meaningful, and that meaning keeps you young. But what about those who feel disconnected from their purpose? What if you're unsure of what truly drives you? Start by asking yourself, what brings you joy? What activities make you lose track of time? What causes or issues spark a fire in your heart? Even small acts of service, such as helping a neighbor or volunteering for a local cause, can ignite a sense of fulfillment and connection. Compassion, too, 
plays an essential role in fostering vitality. Compassion extends beyond caring for others. It also means showing kindness to yourself. How often do you take time to celebrate your successes or forgive your mistakes? By nurturing both yourself and others, you cultivate an environment where positive energy can flow freely. Think about the last time you truly connected with someone, whether it was through a shared laugh, an act of kindness, or a deep conversation. How did that moment make you feel? Connection isn't just a social need. It's a spiritual lifeline. Studies have shown that strong social bonds contribute to lower stress levels, improved health, and longer lifespans. The energy created by these relationships acts as a buffer against life's challenges, keeping us emotionally and physically resilient. Personally, I've found that the moments I feel most alive are those spent pursuing my passions and strengthening my relationships. Whether it's working on a creative project, supporting a friend in need, or simply taking time to appreciate the beauty of the world around me, these acts remind me of the interconnectedness of all things. They renew my spirit, sharpen my focus, and leave me with a profound sense of gratitude. What activities or connections give you that same sense of renewal? How can you prioritize them in your life? The energy of purpose and connection isn't just transformative, it's contagious. When you live with intention and compassion, you inspire those around you to do the same. Your actions create ripples that extend far beyond your immediate circle, fostering a collective vitality that benefits everyone. Imagine what the world would look like if more people embraced their purpose and nurtured their connections. How would it feel to be part of that movement? As we conclude this journey into the intersection of spiritual vitality and physical appearance, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Youthfulness is not just about how we look. It's about how we live. It's about the light we carry within us, the harmony we cultivate in our lives, and the connections we build with others. Each chapter has shown us the power of spiritual practices, be it mindfulness, adaptability, empathy, or purpose. These elements form the foundation of a life that is not only fulfilling but also radiant. When we take care of our inner world, it inevitably reflects outwardly, enhancing our energy, resilience, and presence. What steps can you take today to nurture your inner light? Could it be as simple as practicing gratitude, reaching out to a loved one, or setting aside time for quiet reflection? Perhaps it's embracing a new challenge or rediscovering an old passion. Remember, the journey to eternal vitality begins with small, intentional steps. Meditation, mindfulness, and cultivating positive relationships are not just practices. They are gifts you give yourself. Share these gifts with others and watch how your spirit grows even brighter. Thank you for joining us on this path of discovery. Reflect on these lessons, embrace your purpose, and let your spirit shine. The light within you has the power to inspire, to heal, and to transcend time itself. Stay radiant, stay inspired, and may your journey toward harmony and youthfulness be as beautiful as your spirit. Until next time.